a very good morning to one and all i welcome you all for this session number 28 in this session we will derive lagrangian equation of motion using d alembert's principle note that lagrangian equation is a reformulation of newton's second law of motion so in previous class we learned d alembert's principle which states that the resultant force acting on a body together with reverse effective force they are in equilibrium mathematically it is given by summation i is equal to 1 to n f i a minus p i dot into delta r i is equal to 0 the main objective of this session is to derive lagrangian equation of motion using d alembert's principle no this is for allonomic case by the end of this session we will come to know how to derive lagrangian equation of a motion and lagrangian equation derivation of lagrangian equation so let's start we know d alembert's principle mathematically it is represented by summation of i is equal to 1 to n pi dot minus fi dot into delta r is equal to 0 substituting for generalized displacement we arrive at this expression summation j is equal to 1 3n minus k into summation i is equal to 1 to n into mi ri double dot minus fi into do ri by do qj into delta qj is equal to 0 here we have two terms fi is the applied external force and this is an reversed effective force now let's simplify term by term consider second term which is given by fi dot do ri by do qj into delta qj considering this to be qj then qj term will be equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n fi do ri by do qj and this qj represents generalized force now let's consider second term which is mi ri double dot into do ri by do qj we know that differentiation of a product rule is given by differentiation of uv is equal to uv dash plus v u dash using this principle and rearranging terms this expression can be expressed as differentiation d by dt of u into v that is mi ri dot into do ri by do qj minus mi ri do ri dot by do qj note that this term and this term can be expressed in terms of this which is given by d by dt of differentiation do by do qj dot into summation of i is equal to 1 to n of mi ri dots here so if we differentiate we arrive at this term likewise diff rearranging 
This term we arrive at dou by dou qj of summation i is equal to 1 to n of mi ri dot square. Of mi ri dot square is nothing but kinetic energy term. So the kinetic energy as a function qj qj dot into t is given by summation i is equal to 1 to n of m i r i dot square. So substituting this term to be t, the above expression reduces to d by dt of dou t by dou qj dot minus dou t by dou qj minus qj into delta qj. If it is independent of delta qj, this second term will set to 0. First term set to 0 that is d by dt of dou t by dou qj dot minus dou t by dou qj minus qj is equal to 0. Now we know that qj is a generalized force. If generalized force is a conservative force then using potential we can arrive generalized force using fi is equal to minus delta v that is by potential you can derive force if that potential is a function of only on the position but not on the velocity that is if the potential is in a velocity independent function then dou v by dou qj dot will be set to do 0 then qj will be equal to dou v by dou qj so substituting q in terms of dou v by dou qj and using dou v by dou qj in this term we arrive at an expression d by dt of dou l by dou qj dot minus dou l by dou qj is equal to 0 where l is equal to t minus v where t represents kinetic energy and V represents the potential energy. Note that dou L by dou QJ dot is represented by P which is a generalized momentum. So this expression is known as Lagrangian equation of motion. For a generalized force this Q uh, this zero should be replaced by capital QJ. So in this session, we learned how to derive Lagrangian equation of motion using D. Allen Bird's principle. Now let's have a small MCQ session. Question number one: The Lagrangian equation of a motion for a system is equivalent to is equivalent to Newton's loss of motion. Question number two. The Lagrangian function is defined by, we are saying L is defined as L is equal to T minus V. So answer is option B. Question number three. Pi dot in D. Lambert's principle represents, so that is in a reverse effective force, then the option is C. Question number four. Qij in the derivation of Lagrangian equation by D. Lambert's principle represent. You know that Qij is nothing but a generalized force. So the option is B. Question number 5. In Lagrangian function, T represents, you know that T represents kinetic energy. V represents the potential energy. So the option is answer C. Question number 6. Expression for Lagrangian equation for motion. 
it is d by dt of dou l by dou q dot minus dou l by dou q is equal to 0. So, this is for a conservative forces. If it is a non-conservative force at 0 should on the right hand side should be replaced by capital QJ. So, the option is answer A. If the potential is independent of the velocity, then the differentiation of velocity with respect to velocity differentiation of potential with respect to velocity is 0. So, option is D. Question number 8. T by dt of dou L by dou q dot minus dou L by dou q is equal to 0 is an Lagrangian expression for. This is expression for only conservative forces. So, its option is C. Dou L by dou q dot in Lagrangian equation represents, you know that it is momentum. It, it is generalized momentum. So, the option is D. Question number 10. Lagrangian equation of a motion is derived using, we derive this equation using D Lambert's principle. So, the option is C. So, in this session, we learnt derivation of Lagrangian equation using D and Lambert's principle. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.